The common question today is, why did my credit score drop? The reason I'm doing this video is because usually I do videos about cars. Been in the car business for over 23 years. Well, 23 years, not over that, over 23 years. You know, majority of my business is customers that have boost credit. 70, 80% of the customers have boost credit. Customers from Michigan uh, buy a car from me and customers around the United States come buy, it, buy a car from me because of the value of the relationships. That's why people come see the Regina, the Queen, the car loans at Jolana and Michelle Valet, or they call me for advice or they do consultations. But anyway, today's video topic is why did my credit score drop? Why, 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 why? Why did my credit score drop? Well, I'm gonna give you seven reasons why your credit score dropped. And I hope you share this information with your friends, your family, your sister, your brother, whomever, whomever that needs this information. You may not need this information, but you can share it with a friend. But while you're watching, subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about my channel because I'm sharing information on a daily basis that can help you, you help you. If you don't need this information now, you might know someone that needs it. Anyway, the first reason why your credit score would drop is you have a late or missed payment. Now, when the customers buy a car, the famous thing, the famous words are, don't run my credit through so many banks. Let me say that again. Don't run my credit through so many banks. That's seven words. That's what I hear five days a week. Five days a week, I hear at least twice a day. Don't run my credit through so many banks. Well, you're right on that. You are exactly right on that. We should not run your credit through 10 or 11 different lenders. Why? It's because that's how your credit score is gonna drop. The dealership or the finance manager should pick the banks. They should know their banks and they should think before they just send your credit report or send your application all over the place. The first reason is late or missed payment. The second is derogate mark on your credit report. That means that at some point in time, you were late on your credit card bill, your mortgage, or you just didn't pay somebody. You went into rock and now it hit your credit report. Number three, change in credit utilization rate. Now the golden rule is your credit utilization, you, keep, you should keep it at 30%. That's what they have all over Google and all that the experts are saying. But take it from the queen is that your golden rule should be keeping it at 15 to 20%, 15 to 20%. Now, what does that mean? Your credit limit is a thousand. Keep it at 15 to 20% of a thousand. Do the math in your head. Now, again, if you go on Google, they say, say they keep it at 30%. But I'm telling you, I'm giving you the advice, right? Number four, reduce credit limit. That is how your score will drop. For some reason, maybe you were late on your credit card or you were late on something. You were late on your credit card. And guess what? Not late on something, but you were late on your credit card. And the lender decided to reduce your credit limit. Number five, you closed the credit card. You had this credit card for 15, 20 years and you decided, I don't want to use it anymore. I don't need this credit card. I'm going to close it. Well, guess what? That's a no, no. Keep it open. Do not close a credit card because you want to know why? It's because if you had that credit card for 15 or 20 years and you're still making payments or you're still using it and it's still open, that's going to be your longest length of credit. So don't close that because your lender, whether you're going to get a car, a house, or apply for a credit card, that history is still there the lender could look back at your past history and say, yes, you have the ability for paying your bills on time. Congratulations. You have the ability for paying your bills on time. So don't close that long standing credit card. Number six, you paid off that loan. You, you paid off a loan. You paid off that car loan. You paid off that mortgage. When you pay things off, sometimes that would drop your score. So when, when customers come in, oh, I paid off my car loan, my car loan is paid off. And that's the only thing they have on their credit report is a car loan and one credit card. That's gonna bring this credit score down. Reason is because you have nothing else to hang your hat on that you're paying on and you close it out by paying it. So what does that mean? 
You need to have multiple accounts that you're paying on. Number seven, you recently opened or applied for multiple lines of credit. At the same time, you know your credit score increased. Maybe it went from a 525 to a 675, and if it did, congratulations. But you decided you were gonna open six different credit cards at the same time. Multiple lines of credit. So that's gonna bring your credit score down. Well, yes, you, since your score went from 525 to 675, oh yeah, you got approved. Yes, you did, well, guess what? But because you applied at the same time, your score drops. It drops. So be a smart, be smart. When you apply for credit, don't, don't apply to multiple credit cards or don't apply to multiple things at the same time. Be smart. Now, I hope this video helps you because seven reasons why your credit score would drop. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.